Hello everybody, welcome again to my YouTube channel. I can't do a video today, so I will just do an audio for you. Now today, I've been thinking about the world, the new world order that we are under. I see this as a fulfillment of the book of Revelation. I also see this as a counterfeit to the new world order that is spoken of in Revelation chapter 22 and 21, where God says that he will make all things new, the old will be passed away, and the new will come to being. But you know, as in everything, Satan tries to go and preempt God and try to have a counterfeit. Everything that God has, Satan tries to imitate or he tries to counterfeit. For instance, you know that we have the Sabbath being the seventh day according to the book of Genesis and according to the entire Bible. <clears throat> But in life, we have Sunday being treated as if it is the Sabbath. We also have baptism, which is to immerse on the water while the devil has sprinkling. We have marriage between a man and a wife, a woman. And we today we have it perverted. I don't want to say too much because these days we're highly censored on YouTube. And we also have many other things that God has set up that the devil is trying to counterfeit but no matter what the devil tries he will not succeed or will he will only succeed to as far as where you will allow him to succeed in your life and as far as God will allow him to succeed and so my thoughts on the new world order is that in the book of Daniel chapter 3 you will recall, for those of you who read your Bible, you'll recall the three the, the Nebuchadnezzar set up a golden image and he asked everyone, everyone, every language, no excuse was accepted. And everyone was supposed to bow down when they hear the music. And as usual, the vast majority will always bow their knees to Baal. But in the Bible, it shows us that there are three boys who stood for principles and stood for God. And so those three boys know that it was wrong to bow down and worship an image. And rather than compromising, they decided that they will not bow, so they took a stand. And, of course, they got into trouble with their life in peril. They were threatened that if they don't bow when they hear the music, then they'll be thrown in a fire, and that fire will be seven times hotter than today's fire. These boys decided that they would rather burn than to bow in disobedience to God. And you know the story that they were thrown in the lake of fire or the furnace of fire, sorry, and God saved them, God delivered them, that even the man who threw them in they were burnt, but these boys were not, not even the hair of their head was burnt. 
because they trusted in God. Now, I say that to say this, that as we enter upon this, the last days of earth history, or these, the last days of world history, Jesus says that, uh, be careful that no one deceive you. That was one of the first thing he said when the disciples asked him what will be the sign of his coming. And then as he told them about wars and rumors of wars and earthquake in diverse places and lawlessness, he also says, and there'll be famines and pestilence. And when we look up the word pestilence, it means a dreadful disease, a pandemic. Today, the word of God is being fulfilled right before your very eyes. And if you notice that throughout the world, we are being we are under a new world order. They are calling it the new world, the new normal, and they are saying that even when you get that that needle. It doesn't mean that everything will return to business as usual because this thing to me is leading to no where than the part in Revelation that talks about a world movement to worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in our forehead or in our hand. I notice these days when you're entering certain places, they're scanning your forehead and they're scanning your hand, as the Bible says, in your forehead or in your hand. So they're warming up. This is all a dress rehearsal for the real thing. The real thing is worship. It is reaching to the point. It will reach to the point of worship, commanded worship. And that is where my red line is drawn. So I will, I will cooperate with the mask. I will cooperate. Well, I'm not sure, sure about the needle. Not that I'm not sure why, why no means am I allowing a needle in my, in my body because our bodies are the temple of God and we must care for our bodies and if you're healthy, there is no reason for you to be concerned. You're only concerned if you're un healthy. But I don't want to say too much because I know that my channel is being highly censored under this new world order Everything is censored everywhere now because they're trying to prevent people from being educated or from sharing. But I still will try and attempt. So this thing to me in Revelation chapter 13 says the time will come when you will not be allowed to buy or sell except you receive the mark of, beast, of the beast in your hand or in your forehead. And... The Bible also says in Revelation 20, verse 4, that John says he saw those who had not worshipped the beast and his image and received his mark and who were beheaded for the witness of Jesus Christ. So, wow. The Bible tells us plainly that it's not just imprisonment and can't buy and sell. The Bible tells that it will get so dark upon this planet that many Christians who stand for God will be beheaded, will lose their life. And if the word of God says it, I believe it because there was a time when we would not, we would not envision that we would be under such, um, this, this is reminding me of World War I and World War II, where people, uh, you know what happened during the World War II under Hitler. This we are seeing today, and this is, not man really leading. This is, is a supernatural war. It's spiritual warfare. This is the dragon. This is the dragon. But the dragon, the Bible says, gave people his power. So the dra people are working under the power of the dragon. The dragon will be wrath. Revelation twelve seventeen, And will go to make war with the people of God. And he will seek to slay and behead many saints of God, but when we we ought not to be fearful, we must still go forward, and we must um, we are not to encourage a spirit of fear. Just live for God, because we know the time is at hand, and we need to focus not on the persecution, not on the wickedness that is happening and will happen and get worse, but we must focus on the fact that there will be a people like Shadrach, 
like Meshach, like Abednego, who did not bow their knees to, be, to the golden image, and they, 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 God saved them. Then, well, there's, the Bible says that there will be a set of people who will not bow to the, what is happening, and they will live and reign with Jesus Christ for a thousand years. I want to be in that group, and the question is, what about you? Which group will you be in? Because right now the world is being divided in two. Those who will take the needle and those who will not. And little by little, it will soon come to a decisive moment. And so it also will come to a, a, a point where it will be those who are on the side of the devil and those who are on the side of God. But like the tree, Hebrew boys, we must take our stand for God. Take our stand for God. You and your family, take your stand for God. Don't let anybody force you to worship. Don't let anybody force you to do anything that is against your body or against your, your principles or against the word of God. Today, I hope that you have made up your mind like, Dan, like Daniel, because he, even Daniel was asked to not to worship the true and the living God, and Daniel defied them, the powers that be, and Daniel worshiped his God. He was thrown in the lion's den. Once again, God came through for him, and God delivered Daniel. So the Bible tells us that, well, some of us may have to go sleep in Jesus Christ, but remember, death is just a sleep in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's nothing to be feared. If you are not afraid to go sleep, you should not be afraid of death because death is just asleep to the people of God. The Bible says, Blessed are they who die in the Lord for henceforth, that they may rest from their labor, that they may rest from the hardship of life, and their works do follow them. So my brothers and sisters, we are living in the time of the end, and the Bible is clearly being fulfilled right before our eyes. And it just before it gets worse, or just before it gets better, I should say, it will get worse. It will get dark. There will be a time of trouble, Jesus says, such as never was. And we are entering upon that time of trouble. There will be famine. There will be pestilence. There will be a whole host of things will be happening, and the plagues of, will be, be poured out. But just remember, too, that those who receive the mark of the beast, they will receive the wrath of God. And those who stand up against the beast will maybe be killed by man, but they will receive a crown of life. We have to decide whose side are you on today. I hope that by the grace of God, you and I will take a stand, just like Daniel, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. May the Lord help us to have that courage and that determination that comes what may. As, as, the, as uh, I close, it says, um, you may worship Baal if Baal is God. But as for me and my house, we will serve the true, the living God. So help us God. So may you and I take that stand. God bless you. If you like this video, please share it with somebody to encourage them to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God because Satan, the God of this world, is now doing all that he can to destroy lives. May God help you and I to stand for him. God bless you. Leave a comment if you feel like. Leave a, uh, you can share this video. And by supporting my channel, when you click the thumbs up button below the video and also turn on the not notification bell, make sure you know the name of the channel, the Stephen Williams show, because sometimes um, a lot of nefarious things are happening. They're not letting people get the word that they subscribe for. They're putting channels on you that you didn't subscribe to. Yeah, yeah. so there's a lot of satanic activity that is happening all over the world. So stay tuned and keep a smile on your face and be encouraged 
and keep your families close and study the word of God. Psalms 91, Psalms 27. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. He says, no plague will come near you or near your dwelling. And the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foe, came up to the stumble and fell. So I pray God that we will keep courage in the name of Jesus Christ. Have yourself a blessed day. Amen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Support my channel. Click thumbs up. Share with your friends. Let me know your feedback. The Stephen Williams Show. Thanks for your support.